four creepy and strange, unexplainable disappearances and murders. Number four, Ray Gricar. Ray Gricar was the district attorney of Center County, Pennsylvania. On April 15, 2005, Gricar phoned his girlfriend and told her he was driving in the countryside and would be back soon. He never returned. That's pretty much what the cops must have figured when Gricar's car was found outside an antique store. Pretty much everything but his cell phone was missing. There were no signs of a struggle. Gricar's credit cards and accounts were monitored with no signs of activity. His laptop was retrieved from a nearby river, too damaged to recover any files. What's strange is at the time he was working on an earlier version of the Penn State scandal. Furthermore, investigators found out Gricar had in 1998 mysteriously refused to press charges against the coach despite having more than enough evidence. Going back to the laptop we mentioned, in 2009, someone got around to searching Gricar's home computer. Its search history showed that Gricar had made a whole lot of web searches for things such as how to wreck a hard drive, how to fry a hard drive, and water damage to a notebook computer. It's as if he was planning to destroy the computer himself in a way that would make its contents unrecoverable. Number 3. The Sodder Children On Christmas Eve, 1945, the Sodder family was asleep in their Fayetteville, West Virginian home when a fire erupted, trapping five of the ten Sodder kids upstairs and, sadly, taking their lives before the firefighters could arrive. At least, that's what the fire chief said had happened, despite no bodies or bones being uncovered from the rubble. Not only that, but during the fire, George Sauter tried to drive his truck to the side of his house to reach the second floor, and the engine wouldn't start. Also, their telephone lines had been cut. The Sauter family remembered that they had been receiving death threats from insurance salesmen months before discussing the possibility of their house burning down. Others came forward, saying they saw a man outside the Sauter house carrying a block and tackle which could hypothetically have been used to temporarily disable a car. Years later, many people came forward with supposed sightings of the missing children. However, none have been verified. Number 2. Zeb Quinn In January 2000, 18-year-old Zeb Quinn was meeting his friend Robert Jason Owens when he suddenly received an urgent page and rushed to the nearest payphone. A few days later, Quinn supposedly called in sick to work, but his supervisor didn't think it was his voice on the line. He then traced the call to Owens, who explained that Quinn had asked him to do it. Authorities learned that Owens had received treatment for broken ribs and a head injury the morning after Quinn's disappearance. Two weeks later after Quinn's disappearance, his abandoned car was discovered in a parking lot with a pair of lips and two exclamation points written on the back window in lipstick. A number of items definitely not belonging to Quinn had also been found in the truck, including a jacket, a still unidentified hotel room key, and a three-month-old Labrador puppy. What's weirder is that the car was parked directly across the street from the hospital where Quinn's family worked. Number 1. Elisa Lamb In 2013, the body of Elisa Lamb was discovered in a Los Angeles hotel's water tank after the hotel's residents complained of black, foul-smelling water in the drains. The strange thing is that the door to the roof where the water tank is was locked and there was no surveillance footage of another person nor of her except an unsettling video of Lamb in an elevator. She appeared to be shooing someone away and trying to hide. This was the last anyone ever saw of her. Some guests reported as well that they heard a tremendous racket that night. 